I'm not late, you're late. Here I am playing the, the original Dragon Warrior theme and nobody's here to enjoy it. What a shame. Oh, oof. I'm barely awake. If there are people in chat, which YouTube's telling me there are none and I see no messages, uh, and you're in the Discord, send me a message. <laughs> I, I'm just assuming I, I set up the stream like 15 minutes ago. Uh, I'm half awake. Um, I need to get that Red Bull. <laughs> uh, 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 let's see, what am I going to do? Since nobody's here yet, I'm just going to... Um, let's see... This is an appropriate thing to leave in the background. I'll be right back. You might wonder why I don't get my Red Bull before the stream starts, and all I have to say to that is, yes. Uh, fuck, where do I put these limes? Here we go. That's a good spot. I've got Cuban food. And out. Alright. I can't wait to play this, but I'm going to have to, because, you know, Dragon Quest. Oh, this looks so good, though. I'm going to really enjoy it. Oh, chickens! Okay, stop it. All right, so we're here for more Dragon Quest. Is Queen playing? Yes, Queen is playing. Uh, I was... <laughs> All right, I was going. To, I was going to ask you if you uh, if you had Spanish food today, and then I was going to make a lame joke that any uh, technically anything you cook is Puerto Rican, <laughs> but I'm above that. All right, I just want to show you. I I gotta show you guys this. This is this is too much. Like literally too much. I'm a big fat boy. But look at this fucking mountain of food. All right. Oh, you can barely see like anything on here. All right. So what we got going on? Oh, I forgot what this stuff is called. It's something made out of plantains. Um, I forgot. I forget what the hell it's called. We got some garlic bread. We got some chicharrones. Um, random ass empanadas. Uh... We got the pork. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, that, that delicious-ass pork. Um, uh, this stuff... Oh, my God. It's so thick. Um, let me let me see if I can't come up with the name for this. Uh, uh... Cuban plantain dishes. Uh, it's not Banduras. You know, I'm going to go ask. I'll be right back. Uh, while I'm coming back, let, let's, let's show something a little bit more in line with what we're about to be in for today. Uh Hey light
Hey, black screen, love to see it. Uh, it's called Mafungo. It's called Mafungo. This is a fun game, by the way. I played like three seconds of it, but I enjoyed those three seconds immensely. Uh, the fuck are we playing? Classless. We're playing the classless game. Um, I hit this. There's the game. There's the game. All right, let's make some bad decisions. It's funny when a girl tells her story only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Bumping up the volume just Almost a tiny bit for this one. I'm afraid to believe it's real. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them. Their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their <sighs> computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Hey, you're on time. I'm already so fucking over this. All I said was hi. I wish I was hi. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? What is it this time? I'm still awake from last night because my mom accidentally took one of my brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? I don't know, like Oxy or Morphine or something? They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Do those pills even look the same? Anyway, so she won't shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, Mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm gonna miss another day. Well, wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a guy. Can't you just agree with me and say, yeah, she's a bitch? Okay, sorry, Nicole. Your mom is a bitch fucking whore. See, now I feel better. This is why we have friends. We're really white. Uh, oh, guys, what's up? Did I tell you I got an iPhone for my birthday? That's, uh, that's cool. We talked to you like once a month. Oh. Well, yeah, it's crazy, because, like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Would it kill an Asian child, or is that just when it's being made? That's, uh... Nah, but, like, there's all these cool apps. Like, I know there's YouTube and stuff, but there's apps where you can, like, shoot guns and pop bubbles and stuff. You mean games? It, it's not even, like, games. It's, it's just apps. Like, there's an app for this, there's an app for that. Is there an app that'll make you fuck off and kill yourself? Um... Is that like a choke, or are we... Just go! <laughs> uh, you guys are crazy. That alone was way too much in the morning. There's no way I'm getting through these classes. Are you gonna skip again? What choice did he just leave me? I can't see anyone like him for the rest of the day, or I'm gonna go insane. Come on, let's go somewhere. I have a quiz today, Nicole. Oh, you're gonna miss your Scantron memory game? Just retake it tomorrow. <sighs> Fine. So where are we even going? So good. All right, today is a day of decisions, but none of these decisions are mine. You, you want to watch Mythbusters? This is like a really bad date. At least we're not in school. That's a horrible comeback for that. What are you going to do when you're 25 and working at Outback Steakhouse? Well, at least we're not in school. I would never fucking work at Steakback Outhouse. That doesn't change the fact we're stuck here without gas money and your mom only pays for the basic cable package. So you don't want to watch Mythbusters? We literally just left school to avoid men who go, this is true, why the fuck would I watch a show about them? I heard every other episode they accidentally show you a new way to make crystal meth. Did they ever do one on cigarettes causing cancer? If cigarettes were in Star Wars, then maybe. Can I smoke in here? You can. I don't know if you should. My mom might get mad. 
Okay, well, you hate your mom and your brother and anyone else you mentioned to me, so just let me smoke in here. Holy shit, calm down. You've only been smoking for like a year. How are you addicted? Have an alternative? My mom has a bunch of old prescriptions in her medicine cabinet. You want to crush them up and see what they do to us? Wow, snorting your mom's pills. It is ours You'd fault. You'd be like the guy in Scarface if you ran a nursing home. This might be a stupid question, but what even is Scarface? It's like a drug dealer movie. I don't know. The ESL kids won't stop wearing shirts of it. I think they did a Mythbusters on Scarface. That sounds so awesome for a guy who wears cargo shorts. What are we doing, Nicole? And don't say sobriety. <sighs> okay. So we have done this before. Ara, uh, we've done that before. You were not here. See, you did not rewind and, and watch everything else that happened. <laughs> there are probably other permutations of doing the line of mom's pills. And maybe we'll come back around to that. Bad anyway. Because it makes the carpet smell like cigarettes. But it smells good. Cigarettes are like air fresheners. They make you look cool, too. I feel like a doctor in an 80s movie. Yeah, take a fat-ass drag before you tell a mother of three she has cancer. Like, sorry, bitch, I'm just living over here. Emphysema? Never heard of her. <laughs> I'm so glad we could do this. It's so hard to smoke in front of the school now. What happened? So my perfect time to go out and do it was like 9, 9.30. And in the last few weeks, the fucking counselor is always out there trying to talk to me. Because you're in trouble? No, that's why it's weird. It's like little small talk, commenting on my outfit. You're too pretty to smoke. It just ruins my whole morning now. Oh, I know what you're talking about. And no matter where you are, he always finds you. Does he use the dress code to hit on you? Literally every time. That looks a little low cut for school. Looks right down the titties. Yeah, when they catch you alone, they savor the fuck out of that good Samaritan stare. Like, how are you this horny at your job? Go look at porn on your work computer and get fired for it later. And he's fully aware of the leverage game, too. Exactly. I'm the cool counselor. You can smoke. But as soon as I tell the principal he's flirting with me, he'll immediately rat. Wow, so it's either don't smoke or smoke and get your titties stared at. Easily the second one. I literally can't function without this now. I still haven't found a drug where I function. It's like you turn 12 and you can't have anything perfect anymore. What the hell are you guys doing in here? Oh, shit. Uh, doing what? I don't know what you're talking about. You see all the smoke in here? Mom said you can't smoke in the house. Mom also said move the fuck out, you're 27. But I guess that didn't register either. As if. Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Sorry, I didn't know the basement was your video game office you happen to sleep in seven nights a week. Office sleep seven nights a week? Working hard. I don't sleep there every night, okay? I got other places to be and shit. Since when are you so defensive about living in the basement? I thought you liked it. I'm not defensive, and I don't even sleep there. Oh, I know why. What? You're trying to look cool because there's a girl here. No. It's the cigarettes. They make me look hot. Look, all I did was come up here starving for lunch, and now my appetite's ruined because of how bad it smells in here now. Yeah, I never want to eat after I smoke either. Me too. Cigarettes are actually kind of healthy. Newport's my new personal trainer. Do whatever the fuck you want because I'm snitching hard, bro. So not the way to win me over. Shh, come on. Can't you just go back in the basement and play with your toys? Video games are not toys. That's it. I'm calling mom. Uh, okay, okay. Hey, wait. This better be good. Okay, new choices. Do we uh, sacrifice Jekka or use his obesity against him? Okay, fat boy. What about lunch? What about lunch? Don't call mom. We could just go get you a pizza and... Like, don't even worry about it. Yeah, you can't miss lunch. You're gonna be so hungry. Oh, say it like that again. That's hot. God damn it. Dude, we'll look the other way on your minor fetish and get you a pizza, okay? Does he have a major fetish? No, his major fetish is a minor fetish. So what's the fetish? I told you, a minor fetish. I know it's a minor fetish. What's the fetish for? Minors. Like guys that did coal? Not those minors. So shitty baseball players? What? No. Then what's the fetish? Um, he's into girls under the age of 18. Oh, that's not good. Why are we getting him pizza? Are you guys actually going to get me food? <laughs> yeah, sure. We'll pick it up somewhere. Let's go. Wait, I didn't even tell you what I wanted on the pizza. What is it? Okay, uh, pepperoni, ham, bacon, meatballs, sausage, and sliced sausage too. So like the crumbled American sausage with the more Italian sliced sausage, chicken, buffalo chicken, extra cheese. Is this a pizza or a grocery list? So you got all that? Uh, yeah. Could we borrow a 20? Oh, yeah, here you go. Mom left me extra pizza money today anyway. At 27. Okay, we'll be right back. 
Fucking dumb bitches. I had McDonald's in my room the whole time. Now I have two lunches. You know, I'm kind of warming up uh, to that guy. Hey, us. Amanda. Take forever. Why did we even go to the barcade? For Amanda, a pizza? you need to play Why this not? game. Why not? They have pizza. No, but we could have gone to Joe's or Mama Lucia's. The first yeah, one. This point? is the second. It's gonna be shitty here. We're in the Beltway. The pizza's shitty everywhere. That makes sense. Oh, hey guys. Hey, Jekka. Who the fuck are you? Uh, I'm Kyle. I sat behind you in French last year. French too now? No. It, French the language class, remember? I let you copy off my test. Okay. Hi. Yeah, I didn't think I'd run into anyone here. Are you guys skipping too? Maybe. Why are you skipping? Uh, just need to blow off some steam, play a couple games here and stuff. You skip to play video games? That's really cool and would never discourage girls from having sex with you. Ouch. Well, why are you skipping? You get fucked up? Why else? Cool, yeah. So, you want to hang out? Do I want to hang out, or do I want to go out? Uh, both? I don't know. No, I don't even know you. We had class last year. You've gone out with guys you don't know before. How would you know that if you only had one class with her? Yeah, what the fuck? Forget that. Come on, what did those other guys have that I didn't? They were older and more attractive. So it's all about looks with you? It's not just looks. They could buy me alcohol, too. But I let you copy off my test. You got a B plus. What, are we fucking over B pluses now? At least lie and say it was an A. If it was an A, would you have considered it more? What do you think the answer is? Well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> I don't know. Literally, don't be you. Kill your mom. Even I'd go out with you then. What the fuck? Yeah, actually, then you'd be halfway cool. You guys can't mess around like that. I'm not messing around. Yeah, we're not. It's either me or your mom. Pick one. <laughs> Seriously? Come on, guys. Oh, I am serious. Kill your mom and I'm all yours. Uh, oh, damn, I left my credit card in the car. Credit card? Uh, yeah, hold on, I'll be right back. Wait, Visa, Discover, what's the credit limit? Uh, oh, no, it's like the token credit card you swipe to play the games here. This is why you're a virgin. <laughs> it's like one step forward and 12 steps back. Oh, my God, I know. You were convincing there for a second. I was? Kill your mom and I'm all yours. That was actually hot. I'm all yours. Perfect timing. Is the box two colors, or is that grease? <laughs> we got the pizza! Fuck, I forgot to buy cigarettes. Now you remember. Wait, you're not old enough to buy any? No, the little gas stations don't even card you. There's one right off the Beltway, but we didn't go back that way. What are you talking about? That one cards you. They carded me. Was it the Indian guy? Yeah. He'll always card you. Go on the days when the Mexican guy's working there. How the fuck would I know what days he's working there? When you have a car, you'll know. Dude, where is he? The grease is gonna get solid. Hello? What if he's in the shower? Good one. Were there this many scuffs on the carpet before we left? Holy shit, what happened? Wait, his laptop's open out here. Is that usual? Uh, oh god, not with 20 porn tabs open. Literally 20? 1, 2, 3, 16. Who needs that much porn at once? People with more game systems than exes. Every tab is a different fetish site, too. Like what? Uh, jigglyjihadist.com. <laughs> Below the border, Latinas.net, Asian Girl Dynasty.org. I didn't think your brother would be into such racially charged porn. I didn't think my brother would be into women at all. Wait. Oh God, what? After those, there's a bunch of MilfDaycare.com, KidnappedBabysitters.html, BarelyLegal.gov, and AlmostLegal.co.jp. I've heard of barely legal. What the hell is- Holy it? fuck, too young. What is she Asian? <laughs> oh god, I'm kind of too young. The Russian roulette of internet history. Are we in the system now? I'm not a lawyer. How the fuck should I know? You only look for a second. Five second rule, right? Mr. Fool on the floor, not child porn. Oh my god. What are you girls doing here? I live here. What are you doing here? We made an arrest at this residence ten minutes ago, but forgot to secure the evidence. You arrested my brother? On possession of child pornography. If you'll excuse me, I'll need that laptop. Wait! What? Were you looking at this almost legal website while I was gone? It was just left open like that, we swear! I don't know. You girls have a lot of explaining to do. Well, Ara, you have a decision to make. And you need to play it because I want to see your reactions to it, streamer. <clears throat> oh my god, R is such a liar. Uh, I think you're the one who needs to explain. He is? Yeah, because we might have seen the screen, but look at the webcam above it. 
I see it, but I don't follow. We're both still in high school, and you walked in on us shooting our own child porn video. Um, yeah, and I'm pretty sure seeing it live is way more illegal than seeing it on a screen. Caught right on video, barging in on the set. Pathetic. I've never heard such BS in my life. You were standing here fully clothed. Yeah, because you walked in on the start of the video. Right? What's porn without buildup? You had a pizza in your hand when I walked in. Oh, shit. Well, no, because I was playing the butch pizza delivery girl. And I was playing the lipstick lesbian with no money for the pizza. Yeah, and I'm like, bitch, how are you going to pay for this pizza? Then you walked in and ruined the whole scene. Now we got to do it all over again. You're basically forcing us to make child porn twice. That's fucked up. So go ahead, arrest us, because there's going to be some spicy outtakes played in court. Oh, God. Look, girls, why don't you just give me the laptop and we all forget we saw anything? So you can destroy the evidence against you? No, thanks. Yeah, get the fuck out of here before we call the other cops. Why did they send me alone? Ah, that was close. So if he's in jail, you want to eat this pizza with me? I'd rather not have gout. So then it got to the part where he's like, what do you mean, you people? And I just turned the movie off and went to sleep. Oh, yeah, that's... wow. Robert Downey should get back on heroin, then his movies wouldn't suck anymore. <laughs> I... yeah... Am I boring you? What? No, it's just like, I'm exhausted from yesterday. Yeah, that was like an anomaly, holy shit. Was it? Or the week before that? Or the week before that? Why do our lives have to be so fucking eventful? That's a legit question, shit. Do you believe in God? Do you? No. Me neither. You don't think- We are not going to church. I know that number. I wonder who this is. Let me guess. Bomb threat rapist murderer guy. Oh my god. Hello? Hello. This is the Woodburn Correctional Holding Facility. I knew it. Hey, Mary. A collect call from- it's your brother, bitch. Pick up. To accept these charges, press one. Yeah, whatever. Nicole, why isn't mom picking her phone up? I don't know. Call her up and ask her. All right, whatever. Look, I need you to do me a major solid. You still have that pizza? Maybe? Why? Okay, so I need you to take the pizza and bake it inside of a cake and then have the cake sent to me. You want me to smuggle you a pizza through a cake? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure they'll just let you have a pizza. Well, no, there's an outside gifts limit, and if you bake it inside, I can have the cake and pizza. That's genius, right? Holy fuck, he's fat. Okay, bye. Wait, wait, is that your blonde friend? Yeah... Why? I met someone in here who wants to talk to her. H hold on a sec, okay? I'm scared. That's gonna be a really expensive phone call. Thanks. Uh, hello? Who dis? It's me, Kyle. Kyle who? We were at the barcade yesterday, remember? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah? So, I thought it over, and I killed my mom. So, you wanna go out in ten years when they let me <laughs> out? Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Aw, oh, come on, you promised! You can't back out now! What do you think, Nicole? I'm thinking how the fuck are you getting out in ten years? You wanna hear how I killed her? Would that turn you guys on? Would it? What the fuck? Hang up! You said you'd be all mine! All mine! That was cool. I've never felt worse in my life. Dude, don't worry about it. The fact he followed through means his mom was probably a total bitch anyway. I guess that's possible. And look on the bright side. He killed her for you. You're technically the hottest girl in school now. You're kind of right. There might be a Lifetime movie about this where Miley Cyrus plays you too. Ew, fuck that bitch. I don't want her to play me. Then who? Uh, I'll think it over in class. You going this time? All right. Decisions, decisions. Ara's going to go to theater, isn't she? Yep. <laughs> Crispin. Here. Emily. <clears throat> Duncan does Emily. nuts. Dude, I'm literally standing in front of you. Just making sure we do it right. Do what right? Taking attendance. Nicole. Tardy. The fuck you mean tardy? I'm here. Meaning you're late? Since when are you in charge of that? You're a student like the rest of us. As of last week, not anymore. Miss Teagan made me student teacher while she's off working on a professional stage production. And what makes you so special? I was top of the drama class junior year. We can't have a bad actor teach the class. Well, I don't think you're a good actor either. You probably couldn't even lie to the police. Yeah, honestly. Don't take her side. Why not? She's right. Because I'm your student teacher and I have the power to write you up. Any other questions? 
Has a guy ever killed himself while dating you? <laughs> so anyway, today we'll break up into two separate groups. One will do a table read exercise, the other will be improvised acting. So who wants to do what? I don't want to do anything. The teacher isn't even here. Can't we just hang out? Why would you sign up for drama if you don't even care about acting? It's a fuck around class. Like we're going to be actors one day? Yeah, no offense, Megan, but you're kind of not pretty enough to be in you movies. You think we've done this before. Act. Acting isn't about looks. It's about talent and creativity. When's the last time you saw an ugly girl star in a movie? Stop calling me ugly. <laughs> no, I'm not calling you ugly. I am. You're just like... Uh... Like what? You look like the girl from Harry Potter, but not photogenic. Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> all right, I'm done with this. Get in your groups or I'm writing all of you up. All right. So the last time we were here, different shit happened. Which should mean different things will happen this time. I think we did group improv last time. So just read aloud, but act it out as if you were saying it on stage. Who's playing who? Emily, you'll play the cadet, and Nicole, you'll play the captain. Swell. Uh, what do you think you're doing, young lady? Sorry, I'm just nervous. Like that? Yeah, great. So you guys play out the scene. I'll be back in a bit. Nervous about what? Missing home? I am nervous about dying in a war I didn't start. You better finish it, cadet. Why don't we start loving instead of fighting? This sucks. Yeah, no fight in you, huh? What the fuck is this? I'm back. How you guys doing so far? Decent. Yeah, this script's ass. Who wrote this? I wrote it. It's not ass. It's pretty ass. It's J-Lo after her second kid ass. Like, you could write a better script than this? I totally could. About what? About a girl whose superpower is all her insides are poisonous. So, if a guy molests her, his eyes melt out of his head and he dies in a slow, grueling pain. So then he can't deny it. That's good. Why wouldn't you just make it so her superpower avoids getting molested altogether? Who the fuck would want to watch that? Her superpower is nothing happens. Wow, great movie idea. Can you just keep reading? It's for a grade, you know. Whatever. My heart beats to love, not fight. Who the fuck is this for? It reads like the anime cartoons Jeffrey likes. Who's Jeffrey again? He's the weird kid with glasses who draws pictures of girls he has crushes on. Oh, he would like shit like this. Guys, I'm right here. We know. Can you get back to reading? I gotta grade your acting. Oh my god, your heart beats to march, cadet. Hut one, two, three, four, hut one, two, three, four. Uh, Nicole? What? I'm reading. It's like a drill sergeant. You read it like one, two, three, four. Do I remotely look like I'm even in the same universe of giving a shit as you are? Besides, we're the ones acting. Creative liberty. Exactly. Whatever, keep going. How can you march for someone else's death? I'll march this foot up your ass, ho. That's not what I wrote. Creative liberty. Acting doesn't work like that. You literally said acting's about creativity. Yeah, so is it about looks again? Maybe we should teach the class. F for the day! Damn, this class is easy. Nicole? Dude, the class is over. What do you want? I just needed to have a little talk with you. About? Your participation today was a little concerning, gonna be honest. Okay. Is that it, or...? You're not getting it. I am your teacher in this class, and you'll treat me as such. This disingenuous attitude isn't gonna fly in my program, got it? Dude, what the fuck ever? I just told you, don't treat me like your classmate. I'm your teacher. Is that how you talk to your teachers? Actually, yeah. Don't lie to me. Oh my God, chill out. If you don't get your shit together, I'm gonna call Miss Tegan and tell her everything. Then she's gonna write you up for in-school suspension. Still think hey, it's Nicola. all fun and games, Nicole? Yeah, sure. A side note, are you withdrawing from bipolar meds right now? Don't change the subject. We're talking about you and your issues right now. Jesus Christ, okay. Think you can just smirk while Emily calls me an ugly Hermione? I had no part of that. Go ahead, call me ugly again. No thanks, uh, can I go? Aw, oh, see, now you get it. Now you're treating me like your teacher. Okay, Megan. It's Miss Megan. Miss Megan, can I get the fuck out of here now? You're excused, sweetie, but work on that foul language. Work on getting a fucking therapist, holy shit. So then she went shut the fuck up over how special color TVs were. Who was this again? The English sub today. She was so old and talkative. At least you can go on your phone, right? That was the worst part. She'd stop her boring story to yell at anyone with their phone out. A sub that won't let you screw around. What a ripoff. I don't know how someone manages to be more boring than the regular shit. 
Weird. Yeah, I had a sub today, too. How'd that go? The drama teacher nominated a student to teach the class while she's out of school. What the fuck? Oh, there's a character in this game you don't right? like? What no, a shocker. Why are you in drama? It's a gimme class. Don't worry, I have no intention of being an actor. Good. The drama kids are so fucking annoying. They're all ugly yet somehow think they're gonna be in a movie one day. Yeah, that's pretty much the student teacher, who's a massive bitch, by the way. Do I know her? Do you know Megan? I was in second grade with her. Why is she a bitch? So I'm just doing whatever, not really caring. And then she stops me outside after class and gets super in my face about it. Because you weren't acting good enough? I guess, but she's like, I'm gonna fucking root you up, get you suspended, like all this shit, and I'm just standing there. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now. Sense how? She was a tantrum kid in second grade. Every week was a freak out. Once a tantrum kid, always a tantrum kid. Yeah, control freak for real. So you're gonna drop the class? Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna drop her ass, though. Aren't you a little old for revenge? Oh, so now you're taking her side? No, no, I support you. I'm just not getting involved. Because you have such a future, right? Apparently more than you. Future or no future, revenge is a dish best served cold. Like pizza. Well, do you seriously eat pizza cold? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Now I know you're out of your fucking mind. Hot pizza is just grease. There's grease in cold pizza. It's just solidified, schizo. Okay, can we talk about this in the courtyard? What for? I prefer to be told I'm crazy outside where it's warm, not in the mental ward-like cafeteria with freezing cold AC vents. Just hold your pizza up to one you'll like it more. And you got the tickets, right? Uh, tickets for what? Oh my god, you really forgot again. The dinner theater? Oh, yeah, I can, like, order those tonight still. Don't bother, I'll do it myself. Sorry, yeah, okay. If you were actually sorry, you wouldn't have fucked it up the first time. Yeah, I'll, I'll try better next time. Stressed out enough teaching this class. Does this bitch just yell at all our students? He's our student, too. What do you mean, student, too? They're dating, you didn't know that? No, but it checks out. I thought it was kind of weird he was the only one in class not making fun of her. I know for a fact he wants out of it, too. He's flirted with, like, three of my friends so far. Not surprising. A bitch like her, I cheat on her, too. She's in that weird category of just barely pretty enough to be super demanding. God, the sex with her must be so bad. I don't even think he's getting that. She was raised Catholic, like, super <clears throat> prudish. Do you just know everything about this bitch? What? I've been around longer. You just hear this shit. All right, don't worry about it. Because I think I have my in. And for what? Megan's life. A boyfriend she isn't fucking is the perfect weakness for me to exploit. This is starting to sound like a red tube video. Ew, I'm not gonna fuck him. Okay, just checking, because every video on there sounds exactly like that. Like what? Like, oh, you killed my parents. I'll show you with the most suffocating blowjob ever captured on video. Dude, how much red tube do you watch? Don't worry about it. Fine, but anyway, me and Hunter share a science class next period. That's convenient. What are you gonna do? Let's just say I'm gonna order a hot pizza. And wait for it to get cold? You know me so well. And so, that's why I wasn't super broken up when my wife killed herself. Any questions? Jeffrey. Yeah, what's our science lab gonna be about today? I meant questions about my wife killing herself. Oh. Sorry, no. So for today's lab, we'll be identifying which element is which based on its mass and volume. Get into your groups while I grab the supplies. Oh, my partner's out today. Damn, that sucks. Are you gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, I guess, but it's gonna be bullshit effort doing it alone. I could partner with you if you want. Really? I thought you hated this class. Well, we're both in drama, so it might help to know each other if we're gonna act. I thought you hated that class, too. I'm warming up to it. But, Nicole, I thought we were lab partners. Shut up! Shut the fuck up! Go away! Oh. Uh, well, isn't that kind of harsh? Uh, yesterday, he was telling me about how he kills dogs in his backyard. I can't work with someone like that. Huh. Okay, I guess that was justified. Sit with me. Cool. You don't mind if I look at porn on my phone, do you? Uh, no. Awesome, yeah. It's something I do when I'm bored. That's not TMI, is it? Uh, I'm okay with it, but uh, why do you do it at school? Kind of add something to it, I don't know. So what are you doing after school? I gotta go to the dentist for a cavity. They always make me gag with all those tools. I hate it. 
Can't relate. You like the dentist? What? No, I meant gagging. I don't have a gag reflex. Oh, you're so lucky. I don't think luck had anything to do with it. I like testing my limits. Oh, you mean like, uh... Yeah, like that. But don't worry, I know Megan's your girlfriend. I won't cross any lines, I'm just honest about myself. Uh, Honesty's good, I don't mind it. Sweet, I think we'll get along just fine in drama. By the way, I realized you're technically dating your teacher. Ultimate fantasy, right? Um, I guess so. She's an actor-actor, too. Do you guys ever roleplay? No, can't say we do. I guess she's burned out after acting at school all day, right? Yeah, I guess you could say that. But me personally, I love roleplaying. Oh, cool. What are some things you play? You have a girlfriend and you're asking me about my role-playing? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Dude, relax. I'm fucking with you. Honestly, you don't need to worry. I have a sixth sense for relationships, and I can tell Megan's a lot of fun. You can? How fun is she? Okay, don't tell her I told you this, but just based on her personality, I can tell she gives amazing head. Am I right? Uh, your sixth sense might need some work. Oh my god, was I wrong? Is she really bad at it? She doesn't really do any of that. How long have you been dating? A few months now. Wow, I'm really sorry you're in a relationship like that. Do you want my number in case you want to vent or anything? Yeah, okay, I'll punch it in. Now that you mention it, the relationship does feel kind of manipulative sometimes. And that's why I want to be there for you. Because trust me, I know all about manipulative relationships. Okay, so this is a romance improv. We're going to need this to see who's best for our mini-production of Romeo and Juliet. Who's going first? Well, we need a guy and a girl. Hunter, why don't you go first? All right, sure. Now who's going to play the other side? Emily? This is for romance? Yeah, romance improv. No, he's ugly. (laughs) I'll do it. (gasps) Seriously? Yeah, I won't get better if I don't practice, right? Okay, go ahead. What's the scene again? You're about to go to prison for ten years, and this is your last conversation with your girlfriend. Scandalous. This might be the last time we ever talk face to face. Are you sure? You'll beat the case. I know you will. My lawyer said it's not looking good. If I'm lucky, I'll get out in five for good behavior. Ew, well, who plays Garfield? Gonna take that? You're free now, aren't you? What do you mean? Let's run away to Mexico. They won't find you there. I would, but this ankle monitor isn't doing me any favors. Just cut it off. I don't have any scissors. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So you're really just going to serve the time? No other options. But what about me? What am I going to do with myself without you? Do you think you can wait for me on the outside? I don't know. All your friends really want to have sex with me. Look... I can't control you from the inside. Just keep me in the dark about it. You're giving up that easy? I thought you loved me. I guess not enough. You're just telling yourself that to feel less bad about missing me. But actions speak louder than words. Whenever you touch me, I know the truth. But but what am I supposed to do? Touch me one more time. Take me to my limit with your last night of freedom and don't ever forget the feeling. Uh. Uh, and scene. What? We can't keep going? That's enough, Nicole. Okay, who else wants to try? Maybe a little too scandalous. Emily, do you know where to buy whippets without getting carded? Uh, no, sorry. I don't even do whippets. Damn, because you really look like a girl who does whippets. Oh my god, thank you. A little weird she took that as a compliment. Nicole, I need another talk with you. Shit, I went overboard. Over what? Nothing. So what's the problem this time? Actually, there's no problem at all. I just wanted to let you know I really appreciated the effort today. Seriously? Yeah, your scene with Hunter today showed a lot of passion and actually kind of moved me. It's like you were really trying to make him fall in love with you. It showed a lot of talent. Oh, well, okay, thanks. And Nicole, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for being so hard on you. At first I thought you were just another disingenuous white kid taking drama because it's easy, but you really care. Yeah, I guess. So thanks, I'll see you later, Megan. Uh, Nicole? Yeah? I told you it's Miss Megan. You know world star hip-hop? No, what's that? 
It's this video site with nothing but Waffle House fights and butt implants gone wrong. Butt implants? Yeah, I don't get it either, but when they screw it up, it just slides around in their leg. Ew, gross. Do you want to see it? Yeah, but later. I'm texting someone right now. You've been on the phone like all day. Who are you talking to? Little Caesar's cold and ready. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, how's it going with Megan's boyfriend? I'm making some pretty good progress. And so far, I got 10... 11 pictures of his dick so far. God damn, he's desperate. Yeah, but I'm trying to get one with his face in it too so I can prove it's him. Yeah, or else that could be anyone's dick. But what if he's just tricking you with a picture of someone else? Why would a guy carry around 11 angles of someone else's erection? He could be gay. He's definitely not gay. No gay guy would skeet in his mom's jewelry box for me. The Waffle House thing. <clears throat> Actually, let's, let's look this up real quick. Because this is fun. Oh, fuck off, Kotaku. Tekken 8 players beg for a Waffle House stage. The, um... The developer of, uh, of, um... Tekken. Was like... I don't understand the whole Waffle House thing. If you can explain it to me. Oh my god, fuck off. Ugh. Yeah, he's like, if you guys can explain this whole Waffle House thing, like, uh, that would be awesome. Uh, why would he do that in his mom's jewelry box? I told him it would really turn me on, and within 90 seconds, he sent a picture of it. You want to see? Ugh. Yes. Look at this. Jesus Christ, it's like filled up. Pearl necklace on a pearl necklace. What's that thing in the bottom corner? That's the head. Ew, uncircumcised! That's disgusting! Get it away! You thought he'd send 11 pics of a photogenic dick? I'm gonna throw up! Uncircumcised men should fucking kill themselves! Maybe that's why he won't include his face. Well, you better figure something out quick before he breaks up with her to go for you. Shit, you're right. Then it wouldn't be cheating anymore. Meaning it wouldn't hurt Megan anymore. Meaning you flirted with this guy for literally nothing. As it stands now, you're technically into him. I cannot let that happen. So, um, do we divide the mass by the volume? Couldn't tell ya. Or maybe we multiply the density by the mass. Dude, I'm failing this class anyway. Who gives a shit? Is something bothering you right now? Not really, it's just... Caring about science is for white guys who correct your grammar. Oh, right. Actually, there's sort of been something I've been thinking about lately. Oh, you don't correct my grammar. No, not that. Just... us. What about us? I had fun texting last night. You know, it's funny, all right? I said no, that exact like same too. thing it's and regretted just, it. Just... I think about how I feel talking to you. And compare it with talking to Megan. And I don't think we'll be right she back. actually likes me. What? How so? She just doesn't humor me the way you do. It doesn't feel like she actually loves me. Are you sure? I think you could stick it out a little longer. I could, but I don't really want to. It's no fun being with some bossy prude. If she liked me for me, she would have done something by now. Hey, now, I don't think that's necessarily true. She just needs time, and you gotta be there when she's ready. Even so, though... Aren't I cheating on her if I keep this up with you? Keep what up? Like sending you all those pictures? You mean when you came in your mom's jewelry box? Did anyone need my help over here? Yeah, actually, for the- No, we're fine. Just thinking. Okay. Jeffrey, could you draw a better picture of my dead wife? The, yeah, the jewelry box? Yeah. Among others. That was really hot, by the way. You really thought so? I, I had another one like that, but I forgot to send it. Another jewelry box? No, it was on my brother's Uno collection. Like, like Uno the restaurant? No, Uno the card game. Oh. 
How can you have a collection of Uno? Like all the different versions, NFL Uno, Batman Uno, Simpsons Uno. And you just put them all together and blew a fat load on them? Yeah, and while I was doing it, I was thinking about you and, oh God, listen to me. What's wrong? We're just having a normal conversation. Megan has no idea we're doing this. It feels kind of messed up. Look, it's perfectly okay. Just think about it like this. Your relationship with her is a long-term romance kind of thing, like dating and whatever. She really loves you, but needs time for the rest of it. Well, yeah, but the time is killing me. And if time's the issue, you just need a friend to kill time with. But what would Megan think? Megan doesn't need to know. If she won't explore your urges, there's nothing wrong with finding someone who will. Besides, it's only cheating if you say you love me. Seriously? Yeah, that's been the rule since forever. As long as we don't kiss and do all that mushy stuff, we can hang out however we want. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I never looked at it like that. That's what I'm here for. So, are you doing anything tonight? Actually, I wanted to invite you to something. For real? What is it? Do you want to go to church with me this Saturday? Megan canceled on me. Uh, I'm sorry, church? Yeah, it's a parking lot function with food and games, but also little ceremonies in the middle to appreciate the Lord. The Lord? Like Jesus? Yeah, the one and only. So you snap pictures of your penis while frequenting a church? Yeah, I know, but that's what confession's for, right? <clears throat> and you're gonna tell a priest you came in your mom's jewelry box? Yeah, I'll have to this Sunday, huh? Go on blind and just forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. So you're telling me you blindly say to a guy all the sex shit you did over the week and call him father but not daddy? What? Well, I don't... What do you mean? Sorry, Red Tube. What's... So you want to go? Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Repeat, Nicole, please report to the counselor's office. Thank you. Looks like I gotta go. I'll get back to you on that, though. Just let me know by Friday. This is the first time being here is less awkward than where I just was. Nicole, hope I'm not interrupting too much with your class. It was actually the perfect amount of interruption. Regardless, I wouldn't want to knock you off of your newfound drive. Driving where? I meant your effort. Your sudden passion for scholastic participation. Since when? <laughs> Did you just lie to get me in here? Of course not. <clears throat> You're saying that you haven't gone the extra mile in theater and science lately? Your teachers and both spoke very highly of you. Oh, they have? Yes, they're both very impressed with your sudden initiative when it comes to participating in the classroom. Quite frankly, it's pleasantly surprising to hear, given your prior reputation. As your counselor, it'd be important to know. What's the sudden inspiration? I still oh, like um, her shorts. I just regret saying anything. I'm just really smart, I guess. Well, either way, great to see one of our most beautiful students isn't just a pretty face. What a great opinion to have of a teenage girl. Not to mention a daring fashion sense. You have a knack for turning heads, don't you? Whoa, now you're really flirting. Nothing flirtatious about admiring a creative mind. You picked out such vibrant shorts. They shape you out very nicely. Sorry, I'll try not to show off next time. Nonsense. You're more than welcome to show off in here. Why don't you give me a twirl? You're literally 40. Why do you want to see my ass? Now, Nicole, it's not about that. Just to admire you as a whole. Now, go ahead and give me that twirl. Dude, I'm white. There's nothing to see anyway. Can I go now? Oh, now that sounds like a low self-esteem. If I could volunteer a few more compliments... I'm gonna go while I can still voluntarily leave. Bye! I got your text. Sorry, I was caught up. What happened? I was in French too and called the weird kid Rugrats fetish and got held after. Like, Rugrats the cartoon? Yeah. That's a really good diss. I know! Everybody laughed and the teacher made both of us stay after for me to apologize to him. But then after that, I was forced to say three nice things about him. Well, he was there to his face? Yeah, talk about awk as fuck. That's literally cruel and unusual punishment. What'd you even say? One of them was, you don't smell that bad. Like, I had no idea what to say. Did he get turned on while you did it? Like, think of how often a regular girl would say something nice to him. Was trying to block that out. When he gets home, he's going straight for your Facebook summer photos. Shit, and I forgot my password too. So what were you freaking out about? Megan's boyfriend. I thought she said the counselor was horny. Oh, that's like every week. I'm already over that. But no, her boyfriend is out of his fucking mind. Well, yeah, he sent 11 dick pics for nothing back. No shit. No, he invited me to church this Saturday. 
Isn't church on Sunday? He's so involved with the church, he goes more than just Sunday. <sighs> oh, he's one of those, those. Is it really that surprising, though? I didn't think a guy who cheats on his girlfriend and photographs his dick would have a strong relationship with Jesus, I guess. Oh, yeah, no, I've seen it. I would so get off to your pictures if it wasn't for my faith in God. Like, okay, thanks. How'd you even get that far with a guy so religious? That's when I found out. Like, what the fuck Ow. do I say? I didn't know Jesus was the escrow in titty pics. Who even is Jesus anymore, anyway? Someone pedophiles find to say they're not pedophiles anymore? You think our counselor will ever find Jesus? Yeah, if Jesus is a 15-year-old girl wearing juicy couture. High hopes. So, I guess I'll just go to a really awkward drama class tomorrow. How are you gonna tell him no? You just distract him. Okay, so I can't go to church, but you know what I do wanna do? You know what I wanna do really fucking badly? That was cool, how do you do that? Dude, 90% of dirty talk is just rhetorical questions. So like I warned last week, here's my casting for the school's Romeo and Juliet production. Let's see, for Romeo we have... Wait, they made a play about Romeo? Uh, yeah, Romeo's the lead character. Isn't that Master P's kid? Why'd you take the little out of his name? No, as in Romeo Montague? It's Shakespeare, we studied this all month. So it's not Lil Romeo and Juliet then? Yeah, what the fuck? Enough! So... Playing the part of Romeo is Hunter. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. A little more excitement? Can we applaud the castings? Yeah, yay, thanks guys. And playing the role of Juliet will be... Not me, not me, not me. Nicole! Oh, thank God. Seriously? Yeah, you earned it. I know we got off to a rocky start, but your onstage synergy with Hunter has really blown my mind. I can't think of anyone better for the part. I'll text you about rehearsal later tonight, Nicole. Has anybody oh, yeah, noticed sure. Emily's shirt? For pairing like this, communication is everything. Good luck, you guys. You're gonna need it. Oh, you too. No, I don't want to talk about the fucking script. Just send the shit. What's going on? Nothing. Oh, dude, that does not sound like nothing. Who are you texting? They let him out of guy? prison? Whoa, guy, is he getting serious? Ew, I'm not having this conversation with you. <clears throat> is he asking for ass pics or something? Can you not? I can give you the ass pics trump card if you want to know it, just so you can see it coming if he tries using it. What trump card? Oh, it's real simple. If any girl's holding out on me, I just make it about trust and how I'll kill myself if she doesn't trust me. What? There's no way that works. No, it works like every... Well, not every time, but like 10% of the time. What girl would respond emotionally enough to a suicidal guy begging to jack off to her? Well, you're a sociopath. You don't respond emotionally to anything. You wouldn't get it. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, suit yourself. But in case you fall for it, the light's really good in the bathroom. You're my brother. Yeah? Why would you care about the quality of my ass pics? Uh, no, it's, uh, I gotta go. They had to teach us about ancient Greece in school. Are you still there? Yeah, I'm still here. It's been 45 seconds, asshole. I haven't gotten anywhere on this full body pick, but let's try idiot's way. Do you not trust me? Oh, I that t-shirt was a teddy bear blowing its fucking brains out. It would be really... I got him. Got what? You know what? Blink tickets? They're not even together anymore. The pictures? Oh yeah, for the revenge you're still plotting. How's that going? Let's just say I have the key ingredient. He really sent you a picture with just everything in it? He sent a lot of pictures with everything in it. After the first one, the floodgates just open. Why would he send that many pictures of the same thing over and over? Oh, I had him write different things on himself and some pictures of it. Stuff like loser, Nicole's bitch, Megan's a whore, just cool shit. So that's why you weren't picking up yesterday. Busy with the worst shit imaginable. I don't know. Last night was the closest I got to any sexual gratification in this whole plan. Literally how? It's just some ugly guy writing shit on himself. No, not the visual. Just the raw control felt really awesome. Nicole, that's what rapists say, just so you know. I mean, I guess, but like... I'm a girl, what am I gonna do? Guys will fly off the handle for barely anything. Yeah, guys will not get a Lego set when they're five and 30 years later molest kids over it. Exactly. Now on to the next step. Are you gonna post the pictures online somewhere? No, I think I'm gonna hold on to these until the time is right. And what time is that? Oh, you'll know. I think everyone's gonna know. We're on less than five, guys. Phone's off. Let's get it together. Megan's number? Check. Picture of her boyfriend with his weird dick out? Check. Hey, Nicole. Good luck tonight. Good luck to you, too.
Aura, I'm waiting. Where are we going to do? Yeah, we got this ending. We got two <laughs> Aura is hard. Scene before Megan checked her phone. Honestly, I thought she wouldn't check till intermission. What an amateur. So she ran out on stage in the middle of a Romeo line, yelling out of control, and just broke down crying in front of everybody. They were taking videos, laughing. It was pretty fucking cool, actually. Then she had to go to the ER for a panic attack, and that was really fucking cool. Jekka kept asking me why I'd go through rehearsing for a whole play, even though I knew it'd end like that. Well, I had to commit to it, otherwise she was going to see what was up. If I sent the picture as soon as I got it, she'd have time to resolve everything before the play anyway. There's no satisfaction in that. You see these movies where people kill someone for revenge, but it's like, you're gonna let them off that easy? I didn't break a single law, and this is like ten times the payoff. She's gonna be mentally fucked for the rest of her life over this, and I just feel good about it. Now Megan's gonna end up a cat lady, cause any guy she dates will just remind her of me. Remind her what any girl's capable of. If you push her far enough. This is honestly like the closest thing to a good ending I've seen in this game. Alright, we're going to do one more. It's funny when a girl tells her story only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them, their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Hey, you're on time. I'm already so fucking over this. All I said was hi. I wish I was hi. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? <sighs> what is it this time? I'm still awake from last night because my mom accidentally took one of my brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? I don't know, like oxy or morphine or something? They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Do those pills even look the same? Anyway, so she won't oh. shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, Mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm gonna miss another day. Well, wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a guy. Can't you just agree with me and say I yeah, she's a bitch? I suppose that okay, was sorry, a good Nicole. ending. Your mom is a bitch fucking whore. See, now I feel better. This is why we have friends. I mean, exposing the hypocrisy oh, and, and getting so everybody, everybody arrested, I suppose birthday. that's that's the good ending. That's, uh, that's cool. We talked to you, like, once a month. Oh. Well, yeah, it's crazy, because, like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Would it kill an Asian oh. child, or is that just... That's, uh... You mean... It is... Is there an... Um, just go! That alone was... Are you gonna skip again? What? I have a qu... Oh, you're gonna... <sighs> Fine. So where are we even going? What are we going to do? Not this one. I think we've we've tapped that option out. Last the last time we hung out at home by the way, we killed our mom. So go back to the second stream to see that. Why did we come here if we don't even know what we want to buy? Dude, we're literally in the mall. Just figure it out. Even if I do want and something, it's just torture. And rename this to part I three because like, no I money. didn't do that. Except we're buying anything. Just steal the shit. Oh, okay. You think they have MSI stuff here? The band? Yeah, they're all in my shuffle, and they might be in town this Saturday. Oh, is there a problem? Oh, this was a really no, fucked I'm up just path. I'm surprised you like MSI because you're so normal. Bitch, I could cut myself just as much as you do. I just have better shit to do. Okay? That's not how it. Uh, okay, so what are we getting? I want a CD. 
and assured if they have one. It's one or the other. Why can't we steal both? You don't steal twice in the same trip. The only people here is us and some dad buying sketchers. Who do you think the security guy is going to have more fun gawking at? He wouldn't look at us. We're like children skipping school. Oh, those children are so hot. How many men do you need to see outed as sex offenders before you start seeing there's a trend? You know what? Pick for me, Nicole. Lead the way. Last time we stole a shirt, I believe. I always wonder if the big gaudy security tags are for show. They don't even reorganize the CDs. How am I supposed to find this? You're at FYE. What the fuck do you expect? Acknowledgement of the alphabet? I miss Those FYE. Like the songs on your eye touch? What do you even want a CD for? Collection. You put them on a shelf somewhere. Look at my CDs. Who's gonna want to look at your CD collection other than you? Guys who want me bad? See, they think they can manipulate me by pretending to care about my taste in music, but I'm actually manipulating them into learning about my favorite artists. When all along... I have no intention of fucking them in the first place. That's genius. Why is Flaming Lips in the M section? Wait, what is Flaming Lips? Shitty. Okay, I'll give it a try. Can you hurry up? I feel like we're 20 seconds away from a guy in a Spitfire shirt asking us what bands we like. Oh, just found it. So how do we sneak it out? Say that again, but just as loud so everyone in the store can hear. I don't do this all the time, Nicole. College stuff and major in shoplifting. Quick, come on. Oh my god, that was such a rush. Yeah, spending money's for posers. Oh, it'll sound so good on my dad's stereo, too. I don't think I've ever heard a single person say stereo without dad in front of it. Oh yeah, stereos are for old people without iPods. Do you think we'll ever end up old people with iPods? Ew, I don't want to think about being old. Yeah, I'd probably kill myself before that happens anyway. If you do, can you, like, leave a note on how you killed yourself in case I want to do it too? Dude, yeah, what are friends for? Hey, Katie! because yeah, my mom was telling me about the Zodiac Killer, and I don't think anyone's going to go out that cool again. Oh, is he the guy with the symbol notes? Oh my god, yeah! It would be cool to go out like that. Think about it. Some infamous shadowy figure kills you and then writes to the news in code about how hot it was when you died. He probably say that about every girl he kills. Yeah, no, that's true. If he doesn't specifically say I'm his hottest victim, then fuck off. He can kill someone else. I get that. Do you think we're crazy for wanting that? No, we're just hot. These are hot girl problems. Totally. Should we leave before we get caught, or...? Yeah, let's go to the Chrome Diner. Oh, God. Since when are the scanners here? Looks like the jig is up, girls. God damn it! Caught over stealing a 1299 CD. I hope it was worth it. What band did you like so much, huh? He's not wearing a Spitfire shirt. Dude, the CD was hers. She brought it from home to trade in. With the price label and security tag still on it? She collects, right? Yeah, they lose collector's value if you take those off. You girls are gonna need a better story than that. Okay, decisions, decisions. I knew it! Well, do you want the truth? Of course. See, we saw you standing guard over there looking so strong, we kind of wanted an excuse to get arrested, right? Only uh, a oh, memory. Yeah, we have a thing for handcuffs. Just being tossed around by an aggro man in uniform. Being bad. Cool anime girls got me in this game so she gets to kind of make uh, the choices, is but there feel free to. girls would like me to know? Yeah, actually, we want you to know your wife doesn't need to know. Totally. Your wife is probably such a bitch when you come home, but we're two hot girls with no expectations at all. Huh. Look at Jekka! Well, my wife is a bitch cunt whore who I'm killing first if I ever get fired. And see, that doesn't scare us <laughs> off at all. Yeah, you're dangerous. <clears throat> I want you more now. You want to just forget about the CD and hang out somewhere? Top Golf just opened. Fuck Top Golf. Let's go to the Super 8. You're so naughty. How old are you girls anyway? Well, we're a package deal, so 34. 34 divided by 2, that's, uh, hold on. Shh, you're a cop. You don't need to know math. So what if we're a little young? No one needs to know. Yeah, take us to Cancun where we're legal. I got a place According right to the really store page, they're like both 18. Thailand? Downtown. Shit! Over fucking MSI CD? You miners thought you could pull a fast one on me, huh? Though I will admit, you both look very mature for 13. 13? And they let you have a gun? We can't all be algebra experts. 
they exclusively the let people like that have a gun. School sex addict rehab program. Lexapro. I need Lexapro. Just because we flirted with that guy. I'm on Lexapro. I know. We get what the, the fuck? one male cop who isn't a pedophile. Is that our silver lining? Maybe the mall cop snitching to the truancy officer is. It's yeah. a little entertaining. Speaking of, to see let's what uh. We know here. Oh hey, didn't know you guys had to go here too. Is this surprising? No, no, it's not. Hello, Earth to Nicole. Oh my God, make him go away. Jeffrey, how does a guy who sounds like a cartoon also have a sex addiction problem? Uh, can those not be together? Do you get turned on by the paperclip guy in Microsoft Office? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a Mac user. Is that why you're here? Yeah, Jacka, is that why you're here? Oh my god, totally. Every time he pops up, I just want to rub against him. R rub against him? Ugh, that's so... Ugh, sorry. Last week we covered how to avoid sharing inappropriate thoughts with other girls. No kidding. A whole lesson? Yeah, is that Lexapro. why you're here? Well, if I shared why I'm here, then I'd be relapsing. Come on, we all need a relapse every now and then. Are you peer pressuring me? More like peer helping you. My volume ran out a couple months ago, but this morning I took so much of my mom's volume, I can't even feel my lungs when I breathe in. I'm just zen. Yeah, and zen's a good ass fucking feeling, Jeffrey. Uh, okay, fine. I was in the after school gaming club playing Jack and Daxter on the PS2, and, uh. What a setup for this. Yeah, so I'm playing it, and no one else was around, and I just kind of felt like, you know. Feeling around down there. Yeah? Well, one thing led to another, and before I knew it, I was out in the open touching with one hand while the other was still playing Jack and Daxter. You jacked off to Jack and Daxter? What? No, I didn't do it to Jack and Daxter. I did it while <laughs> playing Jack and Daxter. <laughs> <laughs> and you finished and everything? Don't ask that. I wasn't trying to do that. I just spaced out, and eventually the club sponsor walked in on me. So I had to go here or else they'd expel me. You really put the Jack in Jack and Daxter, huh? So you're doing it, and what's Jack and Daxter doing? He's just running around? They were running around. Jack and Daxter's two separate characters, Jekka. So you just told two girls how you got off to a video game, but you're more concerned if we know the characters in the video game. Uh, yeah. Why would you do that to a game for little kids? It's T for Teen. So was this a group thing? Did Daxter Jack 2? Uh, I never played Jack 2. I wouldn't know. We need to get the fuck out of here. What are you talking about? <laughs> He's probably the worst one here. Everyone else should be cool. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Please make these urges go away. My cousin is not hot. My cousin is not hot. Okay, we need to get the fuck out of here. I wish we could walk out, but the principal's watching the door so hard. I think we're gonna need a distraction. Fight. Huh. Hey, Kelly. What's up, Nicole? Jeffrey was just telling me how he wants to shove his face in your boobs. Uh, what? Well, hey! So do I! I didn't say that! Oh my god, Jeffrey, don't lie. The first step is admitting you have a problem. If you were attractive, I'd immediately let you, but you're just another ugly stalker. Yeah, keep it in your pants for once, Jeffrey. If I wasn't in a relationship with Jesus now, I would hurt you so bad. Okay, okay, please don't. But then he said that you were way cuter and less slutty than Ari. Oh my god, that's actually really sweet. Thank you, Jeffrey. I'd still never fuck you in a million years. Same. Same. Oh, so you think you can just talk shit about me? Bitch, don't be jealous. Bitch, I don't get jealous of sluts. <laughs> yeah, Ari, I'm not a slut anymore, okay? I have a relationship with God and Jesus now. Is that who told you to sell your ass for an iPod Nano last week? Damn, not even a video one? Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Face it, bitch. Jesus is a pimp and born-again virgins like you are his army of hoes. Hey, guys, <laughs> let's settle down and try to be at least halfway respectful here. Why don't you fuck off and finish last, virgin? <laughs> you had it coming, Jeff. Oh, now you have beef with Jeffrey? Sorry, didn't mean to insult your future customers. Do you actually want to fucking fight right now? Bitch, I brought a knife to school. Don't even try me. Yeah, right. What are you going to do with that? Stab you and watch the skeet pour out? Not if I choke you first. I'll spit in your face. I'll spit in your 
your mouth. I'll like it. <gasps> what is happening? Shh. Will you spit in mine back? I'll bite your bottom lip and make you fucking bleed. Promise to kiss me after. No, no! <laughs> help me, Jesus, help me. It's not love, it's just lust. It's not love, it's just lust. What the fuck? Okay, girls, break it up. Oh, now you stop them. One phone call and I can lock you both into a real rehab program. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I really thought I'd seen it all here. I don't want to think about sex for the rest of the month. No, yeah, for sure. God, imagine being those girls. For a week, it'd be kind of fun. You want to be sexed up abusive lesbians? Fuck no. Why not? Because you'd be doing all the abusing. Oh, like what? Just weird shit? You'd like put a cigarette out of my neck and lick the burn mark. So you want to try it? No. Fine, whatever. You never told me that Ari girl was so ghetto. Ari's not fucking ghetto. She's like the whitest girl I ever met. She had a knife on her. Because she was a Girl Scout. It's just a pocket knife. They don't have pocket knives in the ghetto? Nicole, trust me. She's kiss her brother on the lips white. Hello, girls. We're not talking about <laughs> kissing, are we? Uh, no. It's all right. I'm your counselor. You can trust me with anything. No, I was just telling her how white some girl is. Now, now. That sounds like it might be name-calling. You remember our bullying assembly last year, correct? Why are you, um, here? I was informed that you both attended the sexual addiction rehab meeting yesterday and just wanted to follow up with you. Oh, no, it wasn't that deep. We just flirted with a cop. How deep was it, then? You really get paid to fucking work here, don't you? I'm certainly sensing a lot of hormonal tension from the two of you. As always, if you'd like to explore these urges, my office is right around the corner. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Teachers are broke, right? I think so. Why? If he has a part-time job as a mall cop, we could really use this to our advantage. No way I'm ever doing that again. What if he had a part-time job as security for an MSI concert? I'd practice flirting in the mirror to get in for free. Are there no limits with you? Bitch, you have no limits. You want to put a cigarette out on my neck? Oh, whatever. So, are you going to class this time, or what are you doing? What are we doing? <sighs> We're just going to keep on skipping. I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey, Nicole. You over here, too? Oh, great. Oh, yeah, she wanted like, to hang out with Crispin. I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had to break loose from it all, you know? Like, I don't know. These teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. Oh, no. Like, yeah, um... Hey, I like your shirt. Okay. It looks kind of deep. Is there, like, any sort of meeting behind it? Dude, how the fuck should I know? Well, you picked it out, I thought, you know? I go to the store, it looks nice, I buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a bad religion fan. Oh, well, hold up. I'm not really, like, a bad religion fan. I only like maybe, like, four of their albums. I'm real happy for you. Yeah, but, I mean, it's cool that you know about them. You like a lot of rock? That was the most weekend dad question you could have possibly asked me. What's that mean, exactly? What's going on out here? Torture. Oh, hey, Megan, what's up? I'm just on my way back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah, cool. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, it's like mega fucking cool. Is there like a thing with it, like a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's, um, well, I don't wanna waste your time. No, no, I, I got time, I'm hanging out. Dumb fucking bitch. So it was custom made, and it was basically a whole story on my journey with like, finding myself. <laughs> God damn. You should make a game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. Aww. And if he loses, he's gotta like, Take his shirt off at the pool or something. I'm so dead. Then there's a bunch of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. I can't. What do I do? Okay, Ari, what is it? Wait, what? I didn't... Bitch, do not play this game with me. What game? I was just sitting here talking... Shut the to... fuck up. What is it? Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due and I have literally nothing. Yeah, so... Wait, this doesn't make sense. What doesn't? If you cared about the class this much, wouldn't you have done at least some of it? It's not the grade. The teacher's just gonna, like, yell at me in front of everybody. They do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. You think their salary determines how smart they are? Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last ten minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. 
Is it like a two-day project or a three-week project? Closer to three weeks. Huh, that's a problem that lasts more than three weeks. Could you pass for pregnant? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Because I use that. If too many kids start saying it, it won't work anymore. All right, I'm just gonna go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or I, you could drop I love that. live in a methadone clinic. I love that they didn't bother flipping did her shirt graphic. It's just yeah, backwards when it. she turns to Here the other direction. Wait. Oh, how could you run this fast? Don't make me call security! Hey, you dropped something. Whoa! That is a shit ton of cocaine. I wonder if it's real. You just wait till I call your parents. Shit, she's coming back. Nicole? Hey, Miss Lynn. Rough day at work? What's going on with Braxton? None of your business. Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh, I was just on my way to the bathroom. You came all the way out to the main foyer on the way to the bathroom? What, do we need bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Civics? It's okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. I'll walk with you. No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Wow, you can ask me out after? On a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. <laughs> and as I hope She's you remembered, Lynn. today is the final day for submitting your community service sponsor. If you don't get those hours in, you cannot graduate. Oh my god. Nicole, so nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two-bedroom condo with your pets. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I trust the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously? I guess. You guess? Kelly, who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Wow, that's lame. Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah, why would you help the people who screw us over with speeding tickets? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're gonna fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? What did I say about the F word in this class? Sorry, bitch. Are we just supposed to drive as fast as we want? The police are here to keep us safe. Is that why I think it's $200? They're keeping my safe, holy shit. Huh. Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing civics. Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. <laughs> All right, Nicole. If you're so in tune with the needs of the people, how about your cause? My what? Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You've had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who. I'm expecting her to go with depression, but we'll see. Thanks everybody who's here. A lot of viewers today. Ara.exe has crashed. Would you like to send a report? Commit charity fraud, baby! I knew I knew saying something too early would change the outcome. It's a uh, it's like a nonprofit. A nonprofit what? A nonprofit charity. A nonprofit charity for what? A cause. You wanted it for a cause, right? What is the cause? A healthy cause, so people are healthy. And how do they make them healthy? Medicine. So, pharmaceuticals. <laughs> What's the name of this pharmaceutical nonprofit? Ooh, gotta get back to you on that one. You signed up for a charity and don't even know the name of it? It was kinda long, I don't have it in front of me. But it was definitely hey, a charity and definitely for medication to the underprivileged. Where is it? Bitch, no one asked you. I was asking. You're aware you'll need to fill out a form with the location of this charity, right? Just so we know it's not made up. Yeah, totally. I'll get all that for you next class. It was due today. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Is the charity going to disappear because I didn't get it in on time? If you're fine with your grade taking a 10% hit, then be my guest. My policy on all late work. Dude, you need to stop watching C-SPAN. How did you know what I watch at lunch? You just seem like a rules fan. I hope everyone here is a rules fan. This is civics. If rules did anything, wouldn't rape and murder stop happening? It stops most of it. Okay, let's tell all the rape and murder victims that. I'm sure it'll make them feel better. Get your charity in next class and hope I don't fail you for the year. God failed you for your entire life. <laughs>
So then my mom's like, he's too old to date you. And I just ask, are you gonna buy me alcohol at one in the morning? Exactly. Like, I thought you were supposed to look out for me, mom. If you don't give me what I want, I'll find someone who will. Dude, totally. We turned 15 and they're entirely clueless to our needs. And getting locked in this bitch eight hours a day means I need the edge off. Is everyone's mom a bitch or is it just us? Uh... Jekka hates her mom, so I guess everyone. I love Where is Emily. Jekka? She's so broken. Why are you doing something dumb as shit, like school. Hey guys, what's good? <clears throat> Hi. Why do you always come up to us at lunch? Will you shut the fuck up and let me talk? Bye then. No, no. All right. I just wanted to know if you knew people setting up the county's worship festival next weekend. County's worship festival? Is that like Jesus and shit? Do we look like the type of girls who would go to church? No, it's not like super religious. It's just like a county fair. So what do you want to know? Okay, there's this really hot girl on the organizing committee, and I need to get on it. So if you know any religious people, just tell them I want to join. Do we look like the type of girls who know girls who go to church? Who's the girl? I can't tell you that. You might try to ruin it. All of this sounds like an excuse to come up and talk to us. Yeah, are you lonely? What? No. All right, whores. Fuck you then. I think he was lonely. Like, we would even know people who set up church functions. I barely know people at this school in general anymore. Did your friends transfer? No. I always hook up with my friends' boyfriends, so they don't want to talk anymore. Oh, that's why we get along. You have a cheating thing, too? Uh, no. I've just never liked a guy enough to the point of calling him my boyfriend. Good to know you're into that. I'm like a charity for guys sick of their girlfriends. Charity? Fuck, I still have to do that. Do what? I made up a fake pharmaceutical charity for civics, and now I gotta either find a real one or just make up better lies for the fake one. Both sound like a lot of effort. No kidding. Or you could start your own charity, then you're not lying. That sounds like more work than both options put together. Fuck no. You think people actually work at those charity things? They just vacay in Florida and write it off as a conference. How would you know? My fucking piece of shit dad who I want to kill works for a charity business. Is there... Okay, we want to explore that one. No, but that's actually a good idea. Yeah. Oh, and did you hear about Braxton? He tried selling a brick in school. No, I had no idea. To who? Probably a teacher with a coke problem, because I don't know any kid who could afford that. Where would he even... Hey, if it isn't my favorite gym students! We never dressed out when we did it. How are we your favorite students? Oh, I know what you're doing. You want to stay looking nice for your favorite gym teacher. Why would we care about that? I hear how you girls talk about older men, and quite frankly, I support it. You want to say that in front of the principal? Yeah, and it's older men, not ancient men. Yeah, we'll see about that when you're looking for an expensive good time. <laughs> how many times this month has he tried asking us out? Three. But yeah, where would Braxton even get a brick of coke? I think his friend's cousin's in MS-13. Oh, shit. What's wrong? Nothing. It's probably no big deal. Everyone's a little dry from PG County. You going to class? Nah, I'm going home. It's 11.30. Been here long enough. Yeah, this should not reflect your okay, school so experience, charity, but it does, I, it does reflect mine. Let's see. I can't just sell the coke, because then they'll go looking for me. I can never kill two birds with one stone. God, this shit feels so good on my gums, too. I try it for real, but I don't know if it'd mix well with my mom's Vicodin. How is this a prescription med? It feels as good as the street drug. I got it. Where's my laptop? How would I word this? How to free base. Okay, I thought she was about to become a cocaine addict. I'm waiting. There is one option on this. <clears throat> and you have to click it. There we go. Now I'm told if you didn't get your community service causes in last time, you better have them today. Oh, uh, fuck! Excuse me. <laughs> hey, oh, uh, where's Mr. Katz? Today, I'm filling in for Mr. Katz as he had a medical issue he needed to take care of. So I had another two days to think of a charity? God damn it. You think because I'm subbing today, I won't enforce your teacher's deadlines? Don't forget, I'm your principal. Oh my. And speaking of deadlines, Mr. Katz took extra care to remind me of your assignment in particular, Nicole. It's your last day to submit or you failed this class for the year. So what do you have for me? Uh, I have my charity. <gasps> what charity might that be? 
I was told it had to do with pharmaceuticals, so let's not stray too far from any prior narrative. Yeah, whatever. The name of my charity is Medicine Rocks. Oh, God. Medicine Rocks? Yeah, it's a charity that helps get prescription drugs to the underprivileged in PG County. Why haven't I heard of this charity? I don't know, PG County's far? Not that far. Well, they're really underfunded, so they can't get the word out. Wanted to volunteer for something that could actually use some help. What's that supposed to mean? Bitch, you know what the fuck it means. <laughs> girls, girls! Uh, I'll have to look them up sometime then. They'd have a website, wouldn't they? No, they don't really have anything on the internet because they're underfunded and underprivileged. Not everyone has the technology us well-funded whites do, Miss Lynn. What do you mean by that? If you Google them, you're racist. <gasps> she got you there. Hush! Well, I have to say I'm pleasantly surprised with you, Nicole. Here's your hour sheet. You'll need 25 hours in the next six weeks, with signatures. Yeah, okay. We operate under the honor system, but don't think I won't keep my eye on you. Oh, I'm wet. What was that? Nothing. Hey, let's see you fail one of these other losers. Anyone else have a charity for me? Dude, I've been looking everywhere for you. Since when do you take elective gym? It's the easiest class ever. You just be skinny and get an A. And get sexually harassed by the gym coach. No, he doesn't do that for the seniors. He thinks we're old enough to tell our parents or something. Ew, I wouldn't tell my parents at any age. Yeah, that's like way too embarrassing. Imagine telling your mom a 50-year-old man wants to eat a Lunchable out of your cleavage. Exactly. Parents and sex are two entirely different worlds. Unless you're in Arkansas. The only way I tell is for a pity dinner at Red Lobster. High bar. So what do you want? Oh yeah, I have a project I need help with. Nicole, that MySpace girl isn't even fun to bully anymore. No, not that. Another project. Project for what? For school. Since when the fuck do you do any project for school? Since I got a really awesome idea for it, but I need you to bring some stuff over to my house. <sighs> Okay, what is it? I need baking soda, a Zippo lighter, some really tiny Ziplocs, and one of your parents' serving spoons. Are you in chemistry now? No, civics. Where the hell am I gonna get really tiny Ziplocs? Is your mom in a jewelry? She would have those lying around. Okay, so Ziplocs, serving spoon, lighter, what else? Baking soda, a whole box of it. Baking soda. Okay, I'll see you after school. Thanks, I'll explain later. How long is it gonna take to find this shit? <laughs> Hey, sweet cheeks, you got a minute? Miss Lynn said you're not allowed in the girls' locker room. She don't need to know. Hey, quick question for you. What? Are you familiar with Lunchables chicken shakeups? <laughs> Thanks for coming. I know it was super short notice. Yeah, so what do you need all this shit for? Okay, don't freak out. You found it? Was this yours or something? No, there's a rumor going around that some gang kid lost a huge thing of coke at our school. That Braxton kid just ditched it in front of me while running from school security. And you didn't think, oh, that's a lot of illegal drugs, maybe more trouble than they're worth. Since when are we afraid of the law? I'm not talking about the law, I'm talking about MS-13's name on the side of the fucking bag. They're gonna kill you if they find out. How do you know who MS-13 is? One of my friend's cousins was in MS-13. I guess everyone's friend's cousin's in MS-13 now. And no way it's MS-13. Why would a gang put their name on their drugs? What if it was supposed to be delivered to them? What shitty ass drug dealer would keep their customers' names in writing? A really fucking stupid one? Isn't stupid enough to bring this to a public school? All right, don't worry about it. They won't even know we had it when we're finished. Finished with what? You brought the supplies, right? Yeah, for... You brought me here to cook crack? Yeah, what else is baking soda for? <laughs> I don't know, baking? Dude, why are you freaking out? We've had drugs before. Yeah, perks and robo, not go to jail drugs. Okay, just let me borrow your stuff. I need the community service hours. What does making crack do for the community? Nothing. Selling crack's another story. We live in cul-de-sacs, <laughs> who's gonna buy this? I'm not selling it here. Oh my god, <clears throat> this is gonna ruin my parents' serving spoon. Just buy another one. It's from Tiffany. Why would you bring a Tiffany serving spoon to make crack? You never told me what it was for. Look, calm down. This will take like an hour at most. It, this is 100% Florida. I think we're getting the hang of this. We filled so many baggies. But how do we know if it's good? The guy on the internet said if you break one of the little shards, it should give a really nice snap. That was bad. Try another one. Oh, it worked. So it's good enough. God, my gums are still numb from rubbing this shit. It's good, right? Oh my god, yeah. I want to try coke for real, but I feel like I'd kill someone on it. Oh, I just don't want to OD, but good to know your potential. All right, the whole room smells like burnt plastic, so I think we made enough today. My parents are going to be so mad when they see this spoon. Just leave it here. It's better lost than ruined. That's true. 
Okay, I gotta go to PG County now. Can you give me a ride? I'm not driving to PG County, Nicole. What if my car gets stolen? Oh, so you'll freebase crack but won't drive through a black neighborhood? What are you, Ronald Reagan? I helped you with your community service project. You won't guilt me into anything. Okay, just drive me to the Franconia station. I'll take the metro. Fine, but I'm not driving you back. No problem. I'll have plenty for a cab when I'm done. <laughs> Should have looked up how to actually sell drugs before I came out here. Hey, what's up? Hey, what you got? You wanna buy some crack? Whoa! Damn, I did sound like a cop, huh? Hey, Mo. What you need? What you got? I got rocks, bricks, white Legos. Uh, uh, how much? Hundred for the baggie. Uh, uh, here you go. Thanks. Oh, one more thing. What? Could you sign my community service hour sheet? I'll give you an extra rock. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, just any fake name, it's fine. I pee. A hundred bucks and a two-hour signature. I think this is gonna work out. Cool. <laughs> now that I've called roll, I just wanted to apologize for my absence. I know you've all been working very hard on your community. So that was basically assignment. Orlando. Has everything been okay? Not to get too far into detail, but I've been having some personal health issues arise and have needed time away from my teaching duties. Oh, well, we hope you're all right. I don't give a shit. Here. Oh, is attendance over? Sorry. So nice of you to join us. Late as always. Fuck you. You've been gone the last three classes. <laughs> he had a medical issue. Yeah, I do too. It's called liking post-rock. No one rolls out the red carpet for me. Just have a seat, Nicole. That's a new you shirt. dick, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, why are you freaking out? All right, Nicole. You act like you own the place, so I assume you're a top of the class in community hours? I might be. Pull out your sheet, then. Let's see what our star student has for us. Yeah, sure. Here you go. Of course. As I expected, you... Wait, how many is this? I don't know. I lost count. 16, 18... 22 hours? Wow. I only have three. All the signatures are different. Different ink used every time. It's only been a week and a half and you're 90% done. I'm kind of awesome like that. I'm shockingly surprised, Nicole. Good to see you really took the initiative for getting these hours. And aside from just the hours, I'm really building a reputation in the community. Anytime someone's in need, they know who to call. Quite the turnaround indeed. All right, who else has their sheets to show? Nah. What do you mean, nah? Why not? Gay. <laughs> Excuse me? What does helping the community have to do with one's sexuality? Uh, it has to do with it's gay. <laughs> you think that way now, but go above and beyond for this. Get 50 hours. You'll get a framed certificate from the National Honor Society. Why would anyone want that? It means you really made a difference in life. For years, you can hold Yo, on Pat. to it, show it to your grandkids one day. We're selling crack. I would do that. Yeah, imagine you're 80 and you haven't accomplished anything beyond a community service hour sheet. <laughs> all right, all right. Who else has a sheet for me? Nicole, I'm busy. Well, what is it? Oh, good, so I can leave? No, why were you sent here? One of the security people said I was violating the dress code. Well, it looks like there's a gun on your sweatshirt, so yes, take it off. I, I don't really have anything under this. Then turn it inside out and get back to class. Ew, how do I turn a hoodie inside out? It's gonna be weird and itchy. You really don't have anything on under that? Like a sport bra? Well, we can't just have you in that. Are you sure? I think your gym teacher would love it. Please, Nicole, I'm dealing with enough as it is right now. What's the big deal over a drawing of a gun on my hoodie? Have you already forgotten Virginia Tech? Oh, so some Asian guy shoots up a school and now we can't wear cool hoodies anymore? It could promote the wrong message. Who's gonna think I would shoot up a school? He was only a mass shooter because he's weird and ugly. I'm kind of the opposite of that. All right, fine. Wear it for the rest of the day, but don't bring it to school again. Whatever. Oh, oh, one more thing. I almost forgot. What? I've been told of your quick turnaround in civics. Congratulations on your hours. Oh, yeah, don't mention it. A night and day difference in no time at all, really. Where'd you find the motivation for it? Uh, I don't know. The community, I guess. The community? You love the people that much now? Yeah. Look me in the eye and say that. What are you, my dom? Is there something you'd like to tell me, Nicole? Can I tell you to fuck off? You're free to go. I'll be watching. Yeah, right. Oh, hey, Nicole. What's up? What's good? Yeah. Cool. So, 
I, I just wanted to ask if you were busy this weekend. Fucking why? I got to do a video for a class project and was kind of wondering if you could be in it. Why can't you ask the other 30 people who take the class with you? Yeah, um, it's like, I don't know. I feel like they're going to flake on me. And a girl who doesn't take the class, doesn't even like you, she's going to come through. W you don't like me? I hate you. <laughs> Dude, like, quit like, you're always kidding around and stuff. You're crazy though, it's cool. I'm not laughing. No girl randomly recruited for your class video will ever want to fuck you. Whoa, whoa, quit jumping around to shit. What's the end game then? You're going to awkwardly go up to a girl just to be friends? Well, I mean... Friends kind of have a lot of definitions to it. Is there a definition where you blow your brains out with a shotgun while I sit and watch? <laughs> what the fuck? Why would you do that? What else are friends for? So, are, are you waiting for somebody? Yeah, and she wouldn't want to fuck you either. Bro, you're acting wild. How can you even say something like that? Hey, sorry, I got held up in math. Jekka, would you fuck Crispin? Ew, no! See, no one wants to fuck you. You guys are just... Man, you guys are wild. Fuck off and leave! <laughs> okay, I'll see you around, guys. What the fuck are you talking to him for? Dude, I don't know. I was alone and he came up to me. You know they get brave when we're alone. What was the holdup? <laughs> I was flirting with my teacher. For business or pleasure? He's 50. What do you think? I was trying to get an A-. minus. Cool, yeah. I might finish with an A for the year in civics at the rate I'm going. He bought it? He doesn't have to buy anything. They're real signatures. I'm amazed you haven't been killed yet. Oh my god, if you just keep to yourself, no neighborhood's all that dangerous. You're not keeping to yourself, you're selling crack. Yeah, and PG loves me for it, so there's no reason to kill me. Okay, we'll see. Dude, you're such a hater. You sound like Bitch Lynn right now. What Bitch Lynn do this time? I got called in over my bae hoodie, and then she got all on my ass over doing well in civics. Why wouldn't she be happy about that? She thinks I'm cheating by not actually doing community service. It's like suspicious or whatever. You're not actually doing community service? Yeah, I am. You're selling drugs in PG County. How does that help their community? I have really good prices. Giving pregnant women two-for-ones on crack rocks doesn't benefit the country. Oh, what? So now pregnant women have less rights than the rest of us? No. Okay, do whatever the fuck you want. That's what I planned Jesus on. Jesus Christ. Wanna come with me tonight? I'd rather date my ugly math teacher. How would you rather do that? Because if the police show up, I won't be the one getting arrested. Man, I was going to cut you in and everything. All right, then suit yourself. Uh, so you in school, or...? Yeah, that's what the hour sheet's for. After tonight, I'll probably be all done. Cool, cool. Yeah, I thought you got out to prison or some shit. Right? But no, I'm too white and pretty to go to jail. Hey, the fuck, bitch? You wild saying that shit. You wild. You anything. What, do you want me to lie? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh-huh. Well, I got packs to move, so if you could... Nah, yeah. I'll see you some other time with it. Damn, Crocs gotta be awesome if it has this many repeat customers. Is this a cop? Hey, if you're a cop, do you have to tell me that you're a cop? White guy buying rocks in PG? Yeah, you're definitely a cop. I'm not a cop. Wait, you sound familiar. Is that Mr. Katz? Keep your voice down. Did Miss Lynn send you to spy on me? No, just take the money and let me leave with it. Holy fuck, you weren't missing class because you're sick. You're a crackhead. I said keep it down. I mean, if you want to buy, no problem, but are you allowed to sign my hour sheet? This was your charity? Yeah, I sell shit for cheap. I'm the great white hope of PG County. I thought it was a pharmaceutical charity. Medicine rocks? Yeah, as in crack rocks, duh. That's downright evil. Wait till I tell the school board you're cheating on your hours. Wait till I tell the school board you're buying Ready Rock off one of your students. Fine. We'll both keep our mouths shut. Now give me the stuff! Done deal. Here you go. Freeze! Huh? Oh, shit! A little midnight marketplace here? How'd you let the cops tail you? Actually, sweetheart, the cops tailed you. We got a tip from a school principal across the Potomac. Shit! We got a runner! What the fuck? Uh, now we gotta call in a body bag. Did you <sighs> kill my civics teacher? It was a calculated risk, but it paid off. Dude, just shoot me, too. I can't fucking handle this shit. Nonsense. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you. You waited two weeks to visit me? Okay, if you're gonna be a bitch about it, I can go now. No, I'm so bored in here. Don't go. That's what I thought. So how's jail? I've been trying to kill myself every day for the last two weeks, but there's, like, no options. It's not the loony bit, and there's no options at all. Oh my god, there's no sleeping pills, no sharp objects, the sheets rip easily, and the guards walk by every hour so you can't even bleed out with the razor blades. Wait, how long are you even serving? 
The public defender was like three years with good behavior. You're trying to kill yourself over three years? I only came here because I thought you'd be in for 20. Two weeks in here feels like 20. There's only one TV in the whole block and all it plays is UPN. Oh, fucking kill me. It's not even around anymore. Yeah, so I'm going insane. They lock you in here to turn your brain into mush. Fucking every night you try going to bed, you just hear weird echoey moans in the distance. Why are they moaning? I don't know. You can't tell whether they're having sex or withdrawing from heroin. Wow, sounds kind of like torture. But I guess that's how the system works to make you not sell crack anymore. It's a broken ass system. They just assume we hustle for fun. Well, yeah, I mean, aren't there other things you can do besides selling drugs? Not for us. You're born into bullshit, no tools to get out of it, and they still want to act like it's your fault. They want to act like you want to be in jail, like you didn't know the consequence. No shit I knew, but it's either suffer out there or suffer in here. And when you get out, it's even more bullshit. P.O., ankle monitor, drug tests, felony record. It's almost like you had less problems on the inside. The system's educational for everyone but the prisoner. This is a maze and we're the rats. But most days you'd rather die than get to the finish. Now all I think about is dying. I guess 50 was right. Right about what? Just get rich or die trying. I did what I had to. You're white. <laughs> what? You're white, Nicole. You didn't have to do anything. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> what I know is we live in cul-de-sacs, and you don't have to sell crack when you live in a cul-de-sac. I didn't even totally mean financially. Like, my parents were mean to me and shit. It, like, makes you make bad decisions. You sold crack to a pregnant woman because your mom was mean to you? Yeah, sorta. So, all you did was take your little problems and turn them into someone else's bigger problems. They weren't little to me. You better turn Islamic and pray the judge agrees with that. Can white people be Islam? I don't know. Look, I gotta go. I'll see you next week, maybe. Oh wait, no, no, don't go! <laughs> Jesus Christ. I always thought I had a bad memory until I spent two years in jail. No one has a bad memory. Some are just more distracted than others. And aside from really cool fights breaking out, there aren't a ton of distractions in jail. I haven't had a visitor in 16 months. You go by months when you're locked in here. And you're left with your thoughts as your only entertainment. See, I went in rolling my eyes, oh yeah, I'll learn. But they eventually break you down into this lame self-reflection no matter how hard you fight it. But there's no psychologist in here. No therapists in here. No nothing. So yeah, I feel like I've changed, but what if I'm getting worse? Every now and then I'm reminded what Jekka was trying to say last time she visited me. Every new inmate's story kind of paints the picture. One had to feed their kids. Another was forced in a gang. Some girl had to kill her husband. All I wanted to do was fill out an hour sheet. So compared to everyone else, I guess it was kind of messed up in the long run. Maybe that's my lesson. Two years ago, I never would have considered I'm wrong. I really have changed. Now to just serve my time, get back in society, maybe make some new friends, and buy a gun to murder my fucking principal with. I'd shoot her in the legs first, watch her cry for mercy no. before I finish her off. Change feels pretty good. Hell yeah, making friends. All right, you know what? That may have been the best ending so far because Nicole actually kind of learned how to self-reflect a little bit. Like, yeah, sure, she's going to murder somebody when she gets out of prison. She's all tatted up and her life is completely ruined. But there, there has been not a single moment in these games so far where she's ha she stopped and had any self-reflection she may be a slightly better person by the end of that ending <laughs> uh, I sold all <laughs> you're an adult now I sold all your furniture thrifted all your clothes uh, at the shop in Arlington have they're in Washington DC and have been renting your room at Craigslist they even they also mentioned the Potomac you visit every month now and then, but you don't have a home here. So find a job in your own place when you get out. Recession shouldn't make it too hard. 
Yeah, Nicole's pretty fucked. Okay, so we've got four out of seven. Okay, and then I guess after we get all seven endings, maybe we get, um... Yeah, explore every fate of Nicole, and you might see things her way. So, next time, which might be tomorrow, um, we should probably grab a guide to find the other endings. Um... Yeah, if we're using a guide, uh, it shouldn't take, like, three fucking hours. It's about an half out or it's an hour per run basically so we got three more to do that's about three more hours worth of game um and then also we've got the the other one to go back and finish this has been a fantastic uh just absolutely fantastic game um it, it's absolutely insane but it's also like kind of real um and also, I'm not the one who made the decision to uh, sell crack and go to prison. That, that's all on Aura. Yeah, we've been missing you, Katie. Also, uh, stuff him old. <sighs> been lurking. Um... Oh, right. That's what that is. So many games that I'm not getting to. All right. I don't know if I... Oh, uh, that's right. Devin's watching frickin' uh, wrestling over in his Discord. Um, yeah. It's, it's it's a Sunday. I don't know what we got. I'm, I'm the only idiot streaming right now, I think. Anyways, good night. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, we, will, we will finish up all this Class of 09 stuff uh, soon. And, and then we're going to wait for the anime to come out because, holy shit, like, this is some of the best writing I've ever seen in a, a, any kind of game. And it's not even the kind of game I usually play. I, I don't play visual novels because they're not games. They're just fucking stories. <laughs> but this is, this is something else. Night, guys.